good morning from the hustling, bustling city of Dhaka, Bangladesh. It's a beautiful day here today. Very hot. It's very hot here, guys. Very humid. But that's the reality of being in South Asia. If you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. But anywho, it's a beautiful day here in Dhaka. It's not raining, thank God. So I'm going to be able to go out and actually explore the city the proper way. There's a few things I want to see today. So you guys are going to come along with me. But first, your boy needs a coffee. If you guys know me, if you guys are new to Meyer Travels, you have to understand that I don't function without my coffee. And so I'm gonna go to this coffee shop, which is right by my hotel. I'm on the rooftop of my hotel, by the way, if you couldn't tell. Man, look at these streets, guys. One thing about Bangladesh is it is the most chaotic, well, I shouldn't say Bangladesh, I should say Dhaka. Dhaka is one of the most chaotic cities I've ever been to as far as just traffic, just madness overall. But somehow, things just flow and they work. But anywho, let's go get a coffee. I need to wake up and then get this day started with you guys. Cappuccino? Yeah, Mocha. cappuccino. Hot cappuccino. Take away not dining. Dining, oh. yeah. Uh, brother, uh, what is the, uh, like, how many shots of espresso do you put in there? Espresso? Yeah, two shots? Yeah, two 118. Shots. Uh, no, how many? Cappuccino, cappuccino two, uh, two, shots. two shots. Two shots, okay. Perfect, very good, thank you. And you have some uh, food also, this one? Chicken cheese puff? Yes, chicken it's bread rolls? Huh? It's crazy. Chicken cheese puff. It's chicken. good? It's delicious? Yes. Okay. Can I try one um, uh, chicken cheese puff, please? Yes. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Yeah, so... Um, um, so far, Bangladesh has been great. Uh, Dhaka has been really nice. If you guys have been watching my videos. Um, the only thing is I did come during rainy season. So sometimes it does get a little bit tough to like go and see the city obviously when it's raining. But we, we keep moving man. We roll with the punches. That's what we do here. Alright guys. Here is the official Meyer Travels coffee taste test. You guys know everywhere I go I have to try a coffee. So this is a cappuccino. A hot cappuccino. Usually I like to do iced but uh, they don't really have good iced options, so I went with the hot. So here it is, guys. Real coffee taste test. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> uh, it's, obviously, I don't think Bangladesh is known for their coffee. I think it's more known for tea. Obviously, it's a tea drinking, co it's a tea drinking country, so coffee is not very popular here. But it's not bad. It's not bad. With that being said, it's not bad. Um, I would say the espresso is not as strong as I would like it, but um, it's good. It tastes like a coffee. Um, I would probably give it like a 6 out of 10. So, shout out to uh, Rio Coffee. Alright guys, by the way, what's your name? My name is Rakit Hussain. Rakit, thank you. Rakit, right? Yeah, sure. Guys, this guy is such a gentleman, so nice. He's spoken with me, we had such a nice conversation while the camera was off. Because you got to have com real conversations outside of the camera too. But anywho. Finished up my coffee, as you can see. Finished up my pastry. And look at how much does all of this cost? Uh, 325. Dhaka, not dollars. Dhaka. <laughs> right. Dhaka. 320. If I convert this dollar, it's like 3.25. Yeah, so for the coffee and the pastry, if you convert it to dollars, it's about $3.25, which is really good because back home for $3.25, you might get a coffee if you're lucky. But here you get a pastry and I got a bottle of water. So shout out to Bangladesh, man. But we're going to go outside now and go explore the city of Dhaka. All right. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, sir. I'll see you again. Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right. Asalaamu Alaikum. It's uh, 2, 2, 228, right? 228. Okay. Thank you so much, brother. 228. I'll see you soon. You here every day or? Yeah, I'm okay, here. Okay. I'll day, see you. Sir. I'll see you. Okay, brother. Thank you, sir. Alrighty. Here we are in the CNG. Asalaamu Alaikum, brother. How are you? Acha tik! Acha tik! Alright, very nice. So guys, um, you know, some in, in Bangladesh, you always end up back in a jail cell. You know, it humbles you every time. You think you're good, everything's cool, and then you end up back in a jail cell. Here we are. Uh, but, I'm just kidding. This is how the CNGs are, this is how the rickshaws are here. But you know what? After driving through the city and seeing how people drive here, it makes a lot of sense that the CNGs are like this. Also, by the way, guys, Uber does work here. Uh, so if you download Uber, the only weird thing though, my Uber's not working because I have it registered from America. So I think if you download it here and register your Bangladesh number, then Uber will work. But if you're trying to use it from overseas number, it's probably not going to work. That's why my homie at the coffee shop had to book it for me 
Um, but I'm gonna try to get that situated because Uber is honestly the best way. Because if you try to go to these taxi drivers, look how close we get to these guys. Amazing. But if you try to go to these taxi drivers yourself and negotiate a price, as a foreigner, they're gonna completely rip you off, you know? Shout out to these guys, man. These drivers, you gotta have a big heart and very thick skin to drive through this city. And this guy does this all day. I mean, it's gotta be the most tiring job, man. Because you can't put your eyes down for a second here. There's always somebody popping out of nowhere, so. Real big kudos to these guys who drive these CNGs here, man. Big respect. Here is the entrance of the Lal Bagh Fort. I'm gonna head in in a second. I do have one of my friends meeting me here in a second, so I'm gonna wait for him. What is this guy selling here? This looks interesting. I need to buy a bottle of water. Assalamu alaikum. This is yours? No? Oh. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, brother? Oh, fine, thank you. Uh, how much do you sell the water uh, for? This kunta? This Just aquafina. 20. 20, okay. Can I have one? Yeah. One piece? Just one. Yeah, thank you. Cold? Uh, yeah, cold. cold. 20, right? 20. Okay. Thank you, boss. Okay, thank you. Boss, you. <laughs> Bangladesh or Jersey? Yeah, yeah, I'm representing. Okay. Joy Bangla. Joy Bangla. <laughs> Alright, cool, man. So, got my water. Gotta stay hydrated. Where from? Uh, I'm from uh, America. America? Yeah, but my family is originally from Pakistan. Oh, uh, okay. Pakistan? Originally Pakistan, oh, but I live in America. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, we're brothers. <laughs> See you. Okay, brother. Alright, so. Now, we're gonna enter into this fort. I do think you, I think you have to pay money to get inside. Uh, of course, I'm not sure how much, but we do have to pay some money to go inside. But anywho, oh wow, look at that. So beautiful. Wow, I'm so excited to go inside. There's nothing like Mughal Empire architecture. It's just very, very magnificent and captivating. No, no, no. Oh, this is the line. Oh, there's a line. Okay. Go inside? From here? Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. This way, okay. All right. So you do have to wait online, and then I think you have to pay 200 taka. All right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, all right. So we do have to wait online. And then we'll go, once we're done with the fort, we'll probably go explore the old city a little bit. This is like old Dhaka. Hello, brother. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, how much to go inside? 200, no? 200? Huh? Bangladesh. Huh? Bangladesh, brother. I'm from Bangladesh. No, I don't look like Bangladesh. It's 200, right? Okay. So, yeah, 200 to get inside, which is like not even $2. Thank you, brother. All right. Let us make our way in. I got my Bangladesh jersey on, you know. I'm prepared today, guys. I'm prepared. Assalamu right. alaikum. Here it is. Okay. Thank you, boss. All right. Welcome. Wow. This is amazing, guys. Woo. <laughs> Look at the backdrop of the old city. Oh my god, this is so cool. Wow. Oh, and they have a public toilet. I do have to use the bathroom real quick. Guys, this is such a captivating sight. And it's so cool because, you know, the madness of Dhaka, which I've already explained. But once you enter here, you just enter this. Hello, assalamu alaikum. <laughs> you enter this like place of like, just, huh? I'm from the US. Where are you from? Bangladesh. Where in Bangladesh? Bangladesh, Dhaka. Dhaka? Dhaka, beautiful. I like Dhaka. It's a very nice city. So, this is your first time seeing this place? No, my first time. Uh, you've been here many times. Yeah. Ah, okay. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. It's nice to meet you. Okay. All right. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> So, quick bro history about this fort. So this fort was actually constructed in the 1600s 
to be specific around 1670s uh, during the Mughal Empire back when Pakistan Bangladesh and India were not a thing yet it was all known as the Mughal Empire so at the time the person who was in charge of the Bengal region so this was the Bengal region of the Mughal Empire and the person who was in charge his name was Emperor Aurangzeb he was a very famous emperor in this area and <clears throat> His son was the one who actually started the construction of this fort. So it was this whole complex. You have walls, you had the place where he actually lived, you had a, a mosque, and just their whole uh, complex around here guarding their palace and everything. So this was built for their living purposes, as you can see. And it wasn't really used as a war fort, but more like just their place to live. And at the time, in the 1600s, uh, in 1670s, this Dhaka, what is now known as Dhaka, this Bengal region was one of the most economically thriving areas of the Mughal Empire. You know, this was like a lot where a lot of the rich Mughals lived, was in this city. I know you might not be able to see that now because of the condition of, you know, this city, but this was one of the most thriving places in the Mughal Empire, which is amazing. So this uh, this fort is named Lal Bagh, Lal Bagh Fort. Lal actually means red in Hindi and uh, Bangladeshi and Urdu. And it co the name comes from famous forts in the Mughal Empire, like the Red Fort, if you guys have ever heard of it. So it was designed based off of those ideas and loosely based off of those ideas. And then this is what they came up with. And you can see a lot of the Mughal construction and forts have a very similar architecture, obviously. It's the same idea behind it. But each of them have their own charm. And this place definitely has a beautiful charm. And honestly, I would pay 200 taka to just walk around here every day just to get peace. Because this place gives you a sense of peace that you don't get anywhere else in Dhaka. That I can promise you. Um, yeah, it's like being in Central Park in New York, you know, you just get away from the madness for a second and the 200 taka is worth it. I would come, if I lived here, I would come take a walk here every single day because just to get the feeling of peace and serenity. How are you, brother? Assalamu alaikum. Yo. What's going on? Uh, no, no bangla, no bangla. Oh, Bidishi. Huh? Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Punch. What's your name? Yo-yo. Yo-yo? Let's go. Where? Yo-yo. Yeah. Huh? Come on, come on. Where? Yo. <laughs> oh, yo, yo. Okay, yo. <laughs> Where do you, well, I don't know. This kid is taking me somewhere. Where are you taking me? Ooh, 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 ooh. Huh? Hapka, oase. Huh? Dudu, oase haata. I don't know. Okay. Sorry. Hmm. Bul gaya me. Huh? Me bul gaya tha. Kya bul gaya? Hapka sab. Hapka na kam. Ara du aaya tha. Ah, uh, sorry. Yo. <laughs> okay, bye. Kaan, kaan Waa. Huh? Waa. Kya hai? Gurungam. Nee, koi nahi. Hai. Main chal <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I have no idea where the kid is trying to take me. But I'm just like, yeah, why not? Um, but yeah. So I don't know what I was saying. But yeah, the peace, the tranquility that you feel once you come into this place is. Amazing, unprecedented. It's beautiful. Assalamu alaikum, guys. How are you guys doing? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. I'm just making a vlog about uh, this fort. Um, do you guys come here a lot? Are you from Dhaka? Uh, yes, yeah, we are from Dhaka. Do you guys come visit this fort quite a bit, or just? Uh, this is our first time. Oh, your first time? Yeah. Wow, you've been living in Dhaka your whole life. Uh, there is so much place to visit. Uh, uh, and Alvak Fort is one of them. Okay. And, and this is our first time arriving here. How do you... I, I'm just so confused because you live here your whole life, but this is your first time. Uh, like Lalbagh Fort, there is another place called Panam City. Panam there City. Are various same as uh, same historical places. Like Mughal, Mughal uh, construction. Yes, yes, yeah. Okay. And Lalbagh Fort, uh, if you leave this place, you can find Panam City in Shonaryo. Okay. Is, it, it, it is one of another. Okay. Is uh, this like considered to be old Dhaka? This is like yes, old yes, Dhaka, right? Yes. Uh, where are you from? I'm from America. America. Yeah, yeah. Originally, my family is from Pakistan, but I was born in America. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Do you so, know the history? It's a 
I know it was uh, the the guy named Aurangzeb, Aurangzeb the, the the emperor, right? Yes. Yeah. And his son constructed this. Yeah, for his living and everything. But this never. This was not for war. This was not to protect against war, right? No. It was just a place to live. Yes. Ah, okay. And you guys are young students in Dhaka? Yes. Yeah, yes. What What university do you attend? Stanford University, Bangladesh. Oh, very nice. Mashallah. So what are you guys studying? Pharmacy. Pharmacy. And you? Same. Same. And you? Same. Computer science. Computer science. I'm not AI with a Very nice. I wish you guys the best of luck. Thank you so much. Thank and you. thank you so much. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum. And you, my friend. Hey, <laughs> so, bro, okay. you? Thank you so much. Old Dhaka food. Old Dhaka? They are best. Too. I'm gonna go try the street foods. Obviously. What is the best street food in Dhaka? Uh, kabab. Hi, bro, bro. Kabab. Chicken, Saji biryani. Which street should I go to? Uh, Najira Bazaar. Najira Bazaar. Najira? Najira Bazaar. Bajar. Najira Bajar. Okay, I'm going to remember okay. this. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank Assalamu alaikum. So much. Thank you. <laughs> What's up, bro? <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, you heard the young men crazy because they've been living here their whole life but this is their first time here I don't know I guess that's how it is though like when you live in a place you're not very curious about the history I, I mean like I'm from New York there's some places in New York that I've never visited that are considered like long historical places oh this is the grave of Shaista Khan both side grave of unknown yes brother. What's your name? my name is Meyer Meyer travels Meyer. You, you, YouTube, YouTube? yeah Meyer travels M Y E R M Y E R Space Travels Travels, thank you Yeah, thank you bro okay. Make sure you subscribe, yes, like, yes, comment of course, of course. <laughs> Thank you so much bro So yeah, Shaista Khan was actually the lady who uh, kind of took over the construction once uh, the emperor called back his son He recalled his son from the construction I'm not sure why Are you? you guys can let me know in the comments But Are you? Yes bro Come on, come on No need bro, no need, no need No need Ben, Ben, Ben Huh? Mabesh No, 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 no Go ahead, show me how fast you can run Bago, 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 let's go, let's go Hey! Whoa, he's fast. This kid won't leave me alone, but he's such a sweet kid. I don't know what to tell him. I don't know how to tell him I'm good, but I already gave him some money. I don't know what else to do, but he's a nice guy, so whatever. But yeah, guys, I'm just walking around here, just taking in the peace until before I have to go back out there into the madness and just enjoying it, soaking it all in. <laughs> okay. This guy's a character, man. he's funny as hell. Alright. Okay, chalo. Chalo. Alright, you can go inside. Okay, yo, yo, yo. Wow. Looks like they probably fixed this a little bit from the inside. There's no way this is original. Because look, the paint is fresh. So it's definitely been redone. But it, that being said, it's still very beautiful. Yes. This guy is just taking me to different places and I have no idea where. The Hamam Kana bathhouse is square shaped and consists of five rooms. It's a bathhouse. Four corner, such as changing room, restroom, water heating closets. Looks like there was some weird stuff going on in here back in the days. A bathhouse. The unfortunate thing is that you can't go inside the house. This is their home, or was once their home, but they've locked it up. You can no longer go inside. But let's see if we can like catch it. Ah. I think this one is still in like kind of original condition. So it'd be really nice to be able to go inside and see it. But unfortunately, they don't allow us. The grave, oh, because there's graves in here too, so that would be kind of, but man, look at this. It's pretty original, I think. I don't think they changed this one up. Much. All right, guys, that was the fort. I had a great time at the fort. Okay, bro, bye. <laughs> so, um, Right now, I'm with my friend Ronnie. Ronnie, right? That's how Hello. you say it. Yeah. This is Ronnie. Ronnie, he actually is a businessman here in Bangladesh, right? I'm a, I'm a right? photographer. You're a photographer. Yeah. So he's uh, he's in the similar trade, you know? We're all yeah. we're all just filming here. Um, so what kind of photography do you uh, do? Wedding Most photography. Wedding, 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 wedding and portrait. Wedding and portrait. So if you guys are in Dhaka and you need a good photographer, hit up my boy Ronnie. I will leave his information in the description. Sure. And uh, he's a very nice gentleman. 
He's uh, met me here. We're gonna explore the old city of, of Dhaka a little bit. So outside of the fort, there is uh, this is like the old city of Dhaka, yeah, correct? Yeah. yeah. And the, the old Dhaka starts from here, basically. Okay. Uh, so we are just going to the dip okay. of the old Dhaka. Okay. Let's walk. Very nice. So we're gonna explore this old city, see what wonders the old city brings, and um, try not to get hit by a bike on the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's also another thing that you have to do when you're walking and, here. And this is one of the widest roads in old Dhaka. I know, I know. Yeah. I saw some of the streets are very tight. Yeah. So guys, when you're walking, when you're walking here in old Dhaka, you have to be very... <laughs> okay, but okay. The little kid is still following me from the fort. <laughs> but um, yeah, when you're walking here in Bangladesh, man, just be careful because the driving uh, here is insane. The vehicles, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, other than that, the people are great, but just the driving here is insane. So vlogging and walking is definitely hazardous. Look at these wires hanging. So if we touch one of these wires, will we get electrocuted or no? Uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, you gotta be careful of hanging wires, man. This is very similar to the Philippines. You know, I, I never understood how all of these wires are bunched up. And if somebody has to fix a wire, yeah. how do they find I, I, I don't know how, 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 It's literally how, a science. Sort of, sort of, yeah, <laughs> it always amazes me. Oh wow, let's get some fresh fruit, man. Got a guy cutting some, whoa, gotta watch out. Oh my gosh, all right. So here we have a guy cutting some fresh pineapple. Bro, you wanna eat some pineapple? Uh, no, no. Can we just buy like a piece or? Oh yeah. Like, like this one. You can have it. Yeah? One or two pieces. No, no One or two pieces? pieces? Okay. And how much? This total uh, thing is 20 taka. Okay. Without the masala? No salt. No, oh, no, no salt. No. Why is it is it good with the salt or no? Yeah, it's yeah? a bit spicy. Yeah. Okay, I'll try a little bit, little bit of salt. Yeah. What do they call that? A bit lobon. Bit lobon. Yeah. What is it like masala? Lobon is salt. It's salt. Uh, spicy salt. Spicy. spicy okay. Kind of salt. Yeah. So they put like some masala in it or something? Uh, probably. Okay. Mama, iteki. Am nee bit lobon banana kya nee? Eva be. Bit lobon banana kya be? Kuchh mori se bhag sakiye wala hai. Yeah. Some spices and the salt they blended. Ah, uh, see. Okay. 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 Yeah. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum. You know, guys, one thing about being in other countries that I don't get back in the U.S. is the availability of good fresh fruit as you're walking through the streets, you know? So I always take advantage of it. By the way, I paid like 20 taka for this, which is literally like two cents. Assalamu alaikum. Sorry, but I think I'm disturbing him. Oh! Wow, that's salty. Very salty. That's salt. It's very salty, but because the pineapple is so sweet, it balances it perfectly. It's actually really good. Really, really yummy. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Oh, my man whipping up. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? What is this? Pakora? Looks like a pakora. Piaju. 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 Yeah, it's uh, made of onion. Almonds? Onions. Onions. Yeah. Onions and... Onion is piaz. Uh, piaz. Yeah, I know piaz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, can I try one? It will take five to seven minutes. Okay, no worries. Next time, next time. <laughs> we gotta keep it moving. Is this not as busy as it usually is? Uh, this street? No, this is not busy. Because it's Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, because Saturday is a holiday. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Guys, if you think this is busy, <laughs> you ain't seen nothing. Uh, look, my man whipping up some popper. Popper. Assalamu alaikum. Some more street snacks. Uh, puri, I know. Puri, this is, uh, this is beguni. Beguni? Yeah. What is beguni? Uh, brinjal. Huh? Made out of brinjal. I don't know what that is. Brinjal. Uh... You know what? Let's try one of these. Yeah, sure. Yeah. How much? For one? I don't know. Maybe five taka. Huh? Maybe five taka pass taka no? Five taka. Five taka. Do you have the change? I don't have change. Oh, oh, actually, let me, let me, please, let me. Yeah. Okay, I'll get you on the next thing. <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry. Thank you. Bijul, bijul? Beguni. Beguni, oh, beguni. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Modi. Oh. Modi like beguni. Huh? Indian Prime Minister like beguni. Oh, then I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wow. This is good. I think I know what this is. 
It's um. Bingo. Bangin. Yeah, yeah, eggplant. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Eggplant, eggplant, yeah. Eggplant, eggplant. Yeah. Guys, so this is eggplant. <laughs> it's like a, not a fully ripened eggplant. It's a bit, it's a bit raw of an eggplant, but it's really yummy. Beguni. Beguni is like bengen. It's yeah, similar. Yeah, yeah. Ah. See, sometimes I recognize some words because I speak Urdu. There's very, there's a lot of crossover words between Bangladeshi and Urdu. So, you know, one cool thing about Bangladesh that I noticed is it doesn't matter where you are, you can always find snacks, like street snacks. Yes, yes, it's lot, not a lot of them. You know, some countries I go to, there's like designated spots for street food, but here you can pretty much find Every, street everywhere. food yeah. <laughs> everywhere. You ask me where, uh, where's the best place? Yeah, I, I, you, I it's hard to name recommend. It. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because everywhere is street food. Yeah. So guys, you don't want to be beyond these walls. And the reason why is because, no, it's not a fort. It is actually a jail. It's an operating jail, right? It's yeah, currently, yeah. like people are, prisoners yeah. are inside. Wow. Is it like the biggest prison in Dhaka? Or? Uh, probably the biggest in Dhaka. Yeah. Wow. It's amazing. It's just in the middle of the city. <laughs> it's so weird. Because usually jails are like, Away uh, from the city, yeah. Outside or edge of the city. But this is like just right here in the middle of the old city. So we're actually heading over to a bazaar, uh, one of the most Chok famous bazaars, bazaar, right? Chok what is it called? Chok Bazaar. Chok Bazaar. Yeah. And what is it famous for? Uh, it's famous for its business, I guess. Okay. Uh, they have all sorts of wholesale uh, products there. And on the Ramadan days, uh, they have the biggest. It's our market. Okay, very, very nice. Very, very famous. Okay. We have officially entered Choke Bazaar. And Roni was not lying. <laughs> this place is very busy. <laughs> and you know what's crazy is this is not even as busy as it gets. Yeah. This is a day off. Imagine. This way? All right, let's go. Welcome to Chok Bazaar. This is uh, this is what you call sensory overload. There's food, there's fruit, there's things being sold, people, rickshaws, and smells everywhere. There's just things going on everywhere. Wow. Oh, what a beautiful masjid. What's the name of this masjid? It's a beautiful masjid in the middle of the old city in Chok Bazaar. Man, it's madness. Brother, you want some fruit? No? <laughs> Trying to give away these pineapple. Yeah. Maybe somebody would. I don't want to waste it, you know? Wow. Guys, this is amazing. Shops? Yeah? Let's go. Let's see. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, brother? Assalamu alaikum. How are you, brother? Assalamu alaikum. Pakistan, are you from Pakistan? Yeah, 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 good. Alhamdulillah. 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 My brother. Uh, so, you are a businessman here? Uh, yes. Very good. What kind of business do you have? Alhamdulillah. Business? What's your business? This Khatir one? Khatir Churi. Ah, Churi. Churi for girls. Very nice. It's a good business? Alhamdulillah. How long have you been in this place? How much time? Alhamdulillah. 30 years. 30 years, mashallah. Good job. Man, Bangladeshi people are very strong businessmen. Okay, brother. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, guys, you know, I've been saying this like around the world, if you go and you look who are some of the strongest businessmen, in every country you'll find Bangladeshi people. And when you come to Bangladesh, you realize why they are such resilient businessmen. Because running business here is not easy. Man, this is crazy, guys. Look at this. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> uh, <laughs> useless? Uh, so, this girl just called me a useless vlogger, man. Hey, tell her it was useful, man. This is how people see your country and they come, you know? People don't realize. One thing, uh, as I'm walking through this old bazaar, it definitely gives me the same kind of feeling that I felt when I was walking through the old city of Lahore. Um, 
I think this is a little bit busier than the old city of Lahore, but similar construction, similar vibe as the old city of Lahore, for sure. This is kind of busy. This is busy, yeah, yeah definitely. And look at all these people just moving these boxes and things along this street. These are like the couriers. They get things around. Now over here guys, one thing you got to be careful of is pickpocketing. Bangladeshi people are very peaceful people, but like any other crowded city, you do have to be careful of pickpocketing. So keep your things locked up in a zipper pocket if you have one or else you won't be having your phone after a few minutes. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. Yes, huh? yes, yes. Welcome. Uh, US? Uh, US? Yeah. Look at this traffic jam, guys. A bicycle traffic jam. A pedestrian traffic jam. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh shit. <laughs> Guys, walking here is honestly hazardous. You have to be very careful. Hello, brother. Hello, brother. How are you doing? Good, good. How do you I'm from US. Where are you from? Bangladesh. Dhaka? Dhaka. Old town. Old town, Dhaka. What is special about the old town, brother? Special aid. This Jok Bazaar? Jok Bazaar, Bongshal, Nazir Okay, thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Wow, guys, look at this, man. So many people. Oh. Crawl through this place. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, brother? Tig? Tig Acha? You have your business? This is your business? Umbrella. Umbrella business. Very specific business. Umbrella business. It's good. Good business. Bangladesh. Yeah. Too much rain. That's why. Yeah. Need umbrella. Oh, my country is US. USA. But now I'm Bangladesh. Joy Bangla. Okay, brother. I think every like Bangladeshi citizen, even if they're not educated, they still have a little bit of knowledge of English, right? Yes. Yeah. No, 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 no. Like they can speak the deep, uh, like basic words, you know? Uh, yes, no, very good. We have a common phrase. Yeah. Yes, no, very good means a very basic English. Very basic. <laughs> no, but dude, some, some countries you go to, people yeah. don't even know yes, no, very good. <laughs> so to me, that's like impressive. No, but in Bangladesh, yeah, we know. Yeah, yes, no. people have, yeah, yes, go. no, very good. Go. <laughs> go. <laughs> very good. So one thing I noticed here, as I walk through here, I noticed that there's um, like different religions of people in Bangladesh also, right? In Al Dhaka? I think people are under the impression that uh, Bangladesh is only a Muslim country. No, this is absolutely not true. Okay. What what other religions are majority uh, in? Probably we have uh, around 90% of Muslims. 90%. I'm not sure okay. the exact number. Okay. Uh, and the rest are Hindu. The rest so are Hindu. They are 8 to 9 percent. And nine. the rest are Buddhist and Christian. Christian. Okay. So yeah, and you know what's cool, guys? Like you do see Hindu people walking and Muslim people walking in the same places. It's not like there's like a. Is there like a tension between no, religions no, 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 in Bangladesh? No, no, no. no? no, no okay. No, no. So people uh, get along. I, I have a couple of Hindu friends. Okay. Very good friends. Okay, yeah. yeah. So guys, don't get don't get misconstrued with these stereotypes that people say about Muslim countries that, that Muslims and Hindus don't get along. That's just political stuff. A lot of the products that uh, they sell in this market, are they made in Bangladesh? Everything. Or? I, I, I think 95% uh, of the, uh, those products are made really? in Really? Even these products? Yes, like these yes, household yes. products? Yes, yes. Wow, man. Yes. You know, guys, that's amazing, man. And, like, and, and it came from everywhere around the, uh, around the country. Okay, like they, yeah. they send it everywhere. They send it and uh, some products, oh, they import it. The raw materials. Other, other districts. Okay, yes. got it, got it. Come on, brother. He's carving in a name into the... What is this name? Somebody's name? Somebody's name. Who's the name? Customer. Customer's Customer name. Ah, wow. So he, he actually carves in the customer's name. Oh, customer. It's extra cost? Yeah? Money, money. Ah, extra money. Yeah. Good, good. This is for biryani? Biryani. Biryani. Very nice. Okay, brother. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. That's interesting. So you can get your own custom carved biryani pot. That's pretty cool. Let's <laughs> go.
All right, guys, we're gonna get on a rickshaw. The old school rickshaws. Yeah. All right, this is gonna be an interesting experience, riding in a rickshaw through this busy bazaar. Uh, no, I took one yesterday, but not in a busy place like this. So it's gonna be very interesting. But guys, look at this architecture, man. Some of these buildings are older than 200 years, man. And they're still holding up, somehow. So where are we headed now? Shadarghat, uh, launch terminal. What is the launch? Like where the planes uh, take off? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Launch is the bigger version of our engine boat. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, so it's like... We call it a launch. Launch, okay. Yeah. So it's like where the naval boats are? Or? Uh, no, 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 no. The public boats. Public boats. And uh, they transport people uh, from Dhaka to, uh, uh, to the south. So guys, we're driving through a place known as Bangla Bazaar, right outside of Chok Bazaar. And this is actually the largest book market in, uh, in Dhaka. And you can find all kinds of paperback, hardcover books here. You can even make books here, right? Uh, like yeah. Like people yeah. make their own books, yeah. yeah. So, we have cross it. Yeah. So this is the Shadar Ghat. Shadar? Shadar Ghat. That's where we're going. Yeah. Okay. So this is where we're going, guys. It's like a port. Uh, Shadarghat, if, uh, if I translate uh, it into English, yeah. Shadar, uh, Shadar is the city, city, and Ghat is the terminal. Terminal, city, so terminal. city terminal. So it's like a port, yeah. the Dhaka River yeah, port. Yeah. All right, guys, we have entered the. What is this called again? Uh, Shadarghat. Shadarghat. Launch terminal. Launch terminal. Okay, look at this, man. This is crazy. So we're about to see some of these huge boats that people take to ride around the country. It's like a city in itself when you enter here. <laughs> it feels like a city, you know? Wow. Wow, look at these boats. Holy crap. These are huge. It's like a mansion. It's like cruise ships. You haven't seen before? Any of it? I've seen in videos, but... Yeah. I haven't seen this like in person like this. Wow. And these are the medium size. These are medium yeah, size. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's not even the biggest. Jeez. So, is this like the most common form of transport in Bangladesh uh, it, for like the locals? It, it was. It was. It was uh, before uh, we uh, built the uh, bridge. Yeah. Uh, so now people uh, travel by bus because okay. uh, it takes. Uh, very less time than the launch and it's more cheaper or uh, bus is I think I think launch is cheaper okay if you take the deck okay where uh, most of the people uh, visit but the cabins are expensive cabins. in the bus okay yeah. okay and these guys are telling people where they're going and stuff yes, yes, uh, yes. Okay. They're, they're marketing okay All right, guys, we're about to get on this boat. Oh, yeah. One second, let me just get in. Okay. 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 Very, very shaky, guys. Very shaky boat. But we're gonna get in. Oh, 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 shit. All right. Do we sit down or stand up? Uh, better sit down. Better sit down. Yeah, yeah. Just sit on this? Yeah, just, okay. just sit down here. Anywhere, anywhere. Okay. Anywhere you like. Just, okay. just sit, it will be comfortable for you. Okay, yeah. cool. Alright All right, guys, I don't swim, so this is a... No, 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 don't worry. Okay. <laughs> Alright, here we are, guys. We are now in a boat, as you can see. Hello, Captain. Captain. Tik, tik acha. Okay, let's go. All right, guys, we're gonna get set sail on our little wooden canoe here. Now, I don't think you would want to swim in these waters. Uh, very dirty. <laughs> these don't look like the best waters to take a swim in. So as boats come in, we are getting out of here. Let's make our way. Yeah. <laughs> 
You gotta be careful with these waves. It's amazing, man. How old do you think this boat is? Two years? It looks like it's been around for 50. So this guy does about 20 of these trips back and forth every day. It's not easy work, man. I was saying this earlier. People work very hard to make a dollar in this country, man. Like we're paying this guy a dollar almost to take us across the river. So if he does 20 of these a day, he's making like close to $20 a day. For working probably over nine hours, 10 hours a day, you know? It's hard work, man. People work hard around the world. So for those of us who are blessed enough to, you know, have good, a good life, good resources and a good job, we have to be thankful for it, man. Because when you travel and you see how people, how hard people work just to make, just to put food on the table, it really humbles you and shows you like how blessed, shows me how blessed I am, you know? So is that side the port? That side is like the uh, shipping? That's the dock. Dock. Shipping dock. Shipping yeah. dock. They, they build and break ships there. They build and break ships. Yeah. Okay. So like things that go from Bangladesh around the world, they go through this port? Uh, no. 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 There's another one? Yeah, that, that's in Chittagong. Chittagong. Yeah. That's the big port? Yeah. Okay. The sun is setting, guys. This is such a beautiful ride, man. Sun but is the, setting. But the waves is very scary to yeah. me as well. <laughs> They're not too wavy. But yeah, it's, you have to be careful. Because the big boats, they give off a lot of wake, you know, so. So, is there like a difference between this side and this side? Uh, difference? Yeah, like what, is there like a, is uh, this? There, there are a lot of shopping malls. Okay. Yeah. So this is more modern? Yeah, yeah. And no, there, no, 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 no. This is more modern. That's more modern? Yeah. Oh, okay. And this is like yeah. older? Uh, yeah. Okay, of. okay. Wow, look at these boats. <laughs> Why are these guys banging on the boat? They're breaking it. They're breaking it. Oh, okay, okay. These guys are breaking the boat. It's too old. And we have arrived on the other side. That was a fun ride, guys. It's only like a 10 minute ride, but it's super fun. You should definitely experience it if you come to Dhaka. And it's cheap. And it's cheap. Super cheap. Money. Sonan. ওরে বলবো না আমি ভালো মতো মানে আপনি মেয়ের বিয়ে দিবেন আপনার কিছু টাকা হইলে ভালো হয় এটাই তো আচ্ছা আমি বলবো কিন্তু দেখেন ও হচ্ছে আমাদের গেস্ট মেহমান তো মেহমান আসলেই যদি আপনার আমরা যখন টাকা চাই তখন ওরা আমাদের কিভাবে সেটা বলেন তো আগে ছোট পরিবারে জগিন মনে করে না বলেন আমি বলবো সুন্দর করে কিন্তু এই জিনিসটা সবার সাথে না করা ভালো বুঝছেন না আপনি আমার দেশই ঠিক আছে কিন্তু বুঝেছি নয় আপনি যেমন দেশই কোন প্রফেসরের কাছে চাইছেন বলতে <laughs> Look at these guys loading up these onions. How are you, boss? Wow. All right, guys, we just got off the boat. It was a beautiful ride. Like, really, really nice to be on the river and kind of just see the whole city. It's definitely an experience you need to get here in old Dhaka. But with that being said, guys, this has been my tour of the old Dhaka, the old bazaar, the fort. I wanted to just show you the lay of the land here and show you the old city because it is uh, very, very historical and beautiful. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to wrap it up here. More Bangladesh videos coming very soon, so stay tuned. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share. Remember, continue to learn, continue to grow. And there is no growth until you leave your comfort zone. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. You want to say? Hello. <laughs> Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum. Hello.